I mean, I, that's one thing that I freak out about people that are on this carnivore diet. I hear this carnivore diet stuff, and they're like, oh, no, no problem shitting at all. I'm like, no problem at all. You don't eat any vegetables. You got no problem at all. Is it, would it really kill you to eat some broccoli with that? A little kale. <laughs> It'll loosen that motherfucking pipeline up. I just can't imagine that broccoli's killing you. I think if broccoli's killing you, like, oh, come on, really? So there's certain people like um, that I think have a real physical issue. Like Jordan Peterson is one of them when he describes like he, he literally can't have anything other than meat and, at this point in his life or it gives him headaches and it fucks with them. I think certain people, may, all bullshit aside, might have a real biological issue with vegetables, which sounds insane, but it only makes sense. Why wouldn't that make sense to people? I mean, there, everyone, there's so many people fighting off the idea of this carnivore diet, that you're only eating meat and you feel fantastic. You're probably dealing with a bunch of people that have undiagnosed interactions, like ne negative in interactions with vegetables. There's probably something else wrong. You should probably like get your blood work done, try to figure out what the vitamins are. If you eat broccoli and you start getting headaches, bro, I eat broccoli, it fucks with my gains. Mm -hmm. It's just probably something about their system that does not go well with vegetables. So they should take vitamins. Take vitamins and eat meat. And you better f find a way to get some pri fiber, kids. You don't want to get all backed up. Joe Rogan is finally going carnivore. Joe Rogan going all in on exercise and the carnivore diet for an eight-week weight loss challenge that he's set up with his boys. And we've got a little preview of his results here because he said, I've been on it now for about five days and I'm already looking leaner. My energy level has been excellent too. Kind of shockingly good. It is hard to find a current picture of Joe Rogan on the internet, but this is one from the end of Sober October. And I believe this right here is also a more recent picture of him. So we've got a solid baseline for his starting point on the carnivore diet. And in his Instagram post, he mentioned he had gotten up to 205 pounds and his goal weight was 190. So I want to ask you, what do you think? Will Joe Rogan be able to drop the 15 pounds over the course of this eight week challenge? And we we're talking about including exercise too, all in on exercise, the carnivore diet. Let's wait and see what his results are, but let me know what you think, how successful he will be with this challenge in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already seen it, check out the video announcing Joe Rogan's carnivore diet challenge and the adoption during World Carnivore Month by clicking on the link that pops up in a thumbnail right now. That one's hard to believe, but it's actually true. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next. <laughs>